This was the situation when last we looked at Rockwell Drive, just a week ago. But a look along the site on March the 6th revealed considerable activity. quickly became clear that the large structures used to support the pouring of each new floor, known as fly forms, were being relocated to create another level. On the edges of the completed floor, Safety being job number one, guardrails are installed to protect the workforce. Ancillary items are then lifted up to support work on the next level. By midweek, the focus of attention has to turn to installing reinforcing rod and the conduit that will be within the concrete to be poured shortly. Sometimes it's not about the size of the load, but the importance of getting it there. Whenever guardrails are no longer required, they're removed for temporary storage, pending further use. Conduit may look untidy, but every strand is being laid to plan and has a purpose. With all the preparations in place, it was time on Thursday to pour concrete. Working with concrete is a craft that demands strong teamwork and coordination, and this crew demonstrates it admirably. Besides the extensive use of the concrete pumper, much use was made of buckets to deliver concrete. By early afternoon, the work was so well advanced that it was time to bring troweling machines up onto the surface. These smooth and refine the concrete floor. Very impressively, on Friday, the crew had already set in place the wall forms and were busy pouring the new walls for the sixth floor. Thanks for watching this update. If you find them interesting and informative, then please consider subscribing to the Aerosnapper channel.